Yo, what's up fam? Welcome back to the channel and this is your boy Brandon Rico back with another Beatmaker 3 tutorial. Today what I want to talk about is some good housekeeping techniques that we can use inside of Beatmaker 3 as we prepare and get ready for iPad OS. So in today's tutorial we're going to go over some ways that you can organize your files and organize all your samples and all your loops in a way that you spend less time looking for them and so that you can find them by category. So let's get into that right now. All right, so first things first, a lot of you have been asking me, um, how do I save my samples and how do I save my uh, packs um, after I've chopped my sample? So here I have a sample um, pulled in and this is a, um, a Brandy Angel in Disguise uh, sample that I really like to use a lot. And uh, what I did was I went ahead and pulled it in. <laughs> All right, so I already pulled that in and I chopped it up, which you can see inside of the uh, in, inside of the sample editor. So each of these pads are individual slices and individual uh, samples. So if I wanted to save this so that I can replay it over and over again, all I would do is go up up here to these three dots over here, and I will hit Save Bank, and then I would rename it. Uh, Brandy, Brandy Angel in Disguise, and then select OK. Then um, if you want to save the patterns in which you played it in this specific session, you can actually check that box or you can copy the samples exactly how they're sliced inside of this session. You can copy those samples and hit save. Um, I usually don't copy the samples because it duplicates all the files and then it, it imports those samples into my uh, sample directory. But so I usually just save the bank as is. And then once it's saved to the bank, you can go in and find, you can find it in your bank, in your banks tab, you can find it here. And then um, if you hit, if you, let's say we load up another, another bank and then we can hit low bank. And then there it is. The second thing that I wanted to show you is something really cool. Let's say you already have a sound kit that you already imported into Beatmaker 3. Um, and, and you want to be able to find those and um, organize those in a way that you can uh, search them instead of having to type them in through this, you know, search bar right here. So what you usually do is go into samples and then it will go all categories. You'll see all packs, all categories. Um, what you want to be able to do is search them by bass, by drums, by guitar, by loops, so that it narrows down the time that you spend looking for a specific sound or a specific sample. Um, you can actually categorize them in these categories. And if you're looking for vocals, all your vocals show up here in this list here. If you're looking for a specific type of vocal, you can hit, you know, solo voice and it'll come in just like that. And now it's narrowing down and it gives you less options because you narrow down exactly what you're looking for. And now within the search bar, if you search in, if you type in a certain um, number or, or a phrase or a letter, it'll, it, it'll narrow it down even, even more. So I'll show you what I'm talking about. So let's say we go into imports where we have our um, samples that we, that we brought in from like any external uh, source. So I have an Aaliyah kit that I brought in. And for me, um, I know that the, the producer that produced all of these sounds, all of these sounds are Timbaland. If you know Timbaland, he produced a lot of Aaliyah's work. So I wanted to edit this and, and make it available to where I can search this by producer. So the way that you would do that is uh, you will go into that particular uh, folder and hit edit. You're gonna select all of those associated, any drum that you associate with Aaliyah or uh, the producer Timbaland, you can actually tag these, you can actually tag them into a category or you can actually tag them into a pack. Let's say you have multiple drum kits and you wanna actually group them all together by producer, right? So what you're going to do is you're going to select all of those sounds. You're going to select all of the sounds associated with that producer or with that with that pack 
and you're gonna hit tag you're gonna select all and then you're gonna hit tag so what that does is bring up another menu down here and you see edit pack edit category and then you see select all again so what we're gonna do is edit pack and you can actually import it, all these samples that you have selected into an existing kit or you can create a new pack name um, so you can uh, start a whole new pack um, with with all the drums associated with that pack so in this case I already have a Timbaland pack so I'm gonna highlight Timbaland and then I'm gonna set I'm gonna set those files to Timberland. And then you can see that it just tagged all those files. What Beatmaker 3 just did was it selected all those files and put the, the tag Timberland underneath every file name um, that I selected. So now that when I go back into my samples, I can go into all packs, then I can select Timberland, and then it'll give me every um, sample that I selected and tagged underneath the, the Timberland sound pack. So let's create a new sound pack. I, ha I actually have a kit by Ninth Wonder in here somewhere. So let's go ahead and uh, I have a, a Ninth Wonder sound pack. And so I have a, a whole folder full of claps, cymbals, hi-hats, kicks, percussions, shakers, and snares, right? So what I'm gonna do is hit edit, select all and what that does is select all those folders and the files inside of them and then i'm gonna hit tag then i'm gonna hit edit pack and since i don't have a um since i don't have a ninth wonder pack already in here i'm gonna create a new pack so let's go ahead and hit ninth wonder type that in ninth wonder and select okay what we're gonna do is select that pack set ninth wonder what it's going to do is tag each individual file inside of those folders every folder is going to tag all those uh sounds associated with ninth wonder it's going to take a minute to tag all those files so if you have multiple packs by multiple sources full of different packs from the same producer you can actually tag all those packs underneath that producer name or that source name so now that when we go into uh, go back by filter by packs we can hit ninth wonder and every drum every sound every wave associated with ninth wonder will show up here all right so how do we search them by category which is even better because now we don't have to because now we don't have to associate each sound with a specific producer if you don't know the producer or if you don't know where the source is you can actually tag each individual uh, sound and sample by category so we're going to go into my splice folder and we're going to go into packs and then we have just a bunch of different files in here right so what we're going to do is just go ahead and click one and this might take a lot of time. This might be a little bit time consuming for you if you have a lot of files, but the time that you take to invest into tagging each individual folder or each individual file, it will save you a whole lot of time when you go to look for these files or look for those samples. So if you know that you have loops, you're gonna go ahead and um, tag them as loops. Or if you know that you have, um, like one shot drums and stuff like that. So another reason this could be useful is that the name of the sample is not always what the sample is. So we have a clap. We have we have different claps that have different names. They're not always spelled clap, C-L-A-P. You can actually tag these by category. So if you want these to show up in search while you're looking for claps and they don't necessarily have the name clap in their name, in the file name you can actually go ahead and go to edit and select all the ones associated with a clap and select tag and this this time we're going to go ahead and select edit category so now you have all of these you have these categories that you can choose from in this case we're going to tag them as drums they fall under the category of drums and then these happen to fall under the subcategory of claps. And you'll do the same thing. Set clap, and now they'll show up inside of your um, 
claps category when you go ahead and go search for claps. So if you make it a habit of tagging every single file or every single folder as a type or as a category, every time you import sounds into Beatmaker 3, you'll spend a lot less time looking for your stuff. You'll, you'll actually find it way faster. So I know that I wanted like a, like a water drop, right? Let's just pick something random. I know I, I wanted a water drop. So I know that I tagged my water drop under, um, I think one shots and um, this is all my one shots associated. So I can go all the way down to these and find that drop. There it is. So I spend a lot less time searching for it and going through all these, all these samples um, because I narrowed it down into a category and I knew that it was in one shots so that, you know, I can pinpoint it and that's where I found it. So now I have my drop. So this could be helpful if you're looking for a specific sound, a very specific uh, sound pack or style of beat and you know exactly how you want it to sound, you can actually edit those categories to where it sounds ambient or, or you know, you have, you just have a bunch of different categories in which your uh, beats and all of your loops and all of your one shot sounds are organized and you can find them much faster, spend less time looking for it and more time creating with those samples. So if this was helpful to you, go ahead and hit that like button, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. This is just one of the ways that you can really organize your files and clean up a lot of your samples in your search directory. So let me know in the comments if you have any other useful ways of organizing your files and all your samples. This is just one of my favorites and it helped my workflow tremendously. Once again, thanks for rocking with me. Thanks for rocking with the channel. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. This has been your boy Brandon Rico back again with another Beatmaker 3 tutorial. I'm signing out. And remember, if I can create like this, then you can create like this.